Dr. Prakash Amte, son of Baba Amte, the social reformist from Maharashtra, does not require an introduction. Dr. Prakash Amte, along with his wife, Dr. Mandakini Amte, is following the steps of his father in a greater way. Hemal Kasa is an inland village of Gatchiroli district in Maharashtra state. Today, the village is the best example for sustainable development in the country. Hemal Kasa is a joint family of humans and wild animals which has been adopted by Dr. Prakash Amte together with his wife and children after Baba Amte. Hemal Kasa wakes up with the morning safari of Dr. Prakash Amte with the wild animals including bear and leopard have been given to the care of Dr. Prakash Amte by Forest Ministry. Everyone wonders at the bond Amte family has with the leopard cubs and bear cubs. Rambo, Ranian, Rakhi, yeah. One, one male, two female. Again, the tragedy is that the, in the remotest place where there is no development, the mother was killed in a community hunting. Oh, and the babies were brought here. Sir, how old are these cubs? He is now four months old. Four months? Four months old. We will take them to, the, to that forest and they will to climb the tree. Uh -huh. And then come back. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. They like honey, no? Honey, yeah? Honey. Yeah. Dr. Amthe proudly says that, ours is a big family consisting of around a thousand people that includes nearly a hundred wild animals in our care, yeah. children of yeah, the school yeah. run by us and the patients of our hospital. Yeah. They like it. Oh. Ah. They climb the tree ah. and then the rock bees, you know. Yeah. This is Rambo? Rambo is a male and Rakhi and Rani, oh. two female. How does these cups behave, sir? I mean, right now they are all same. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, this is a defense, in fact. Uh -huh. Looking at the stranger, uh -huh. they, they make such a noise. Uh, here, see. <laughs> yeah, Rani, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No development is reached there. Oh. This Madia tribe, oh. primitive tribe. Oh. Uh, around Hemalkasa, most of the villages are now developed with education, with farming. But those areas uh, bordering Chhattisgarh, Naranpur district, Apastar, you know, uh, there is no roads, no development. So they go for community hunting, whatever animal they get, they Community kill. hunting means? All, all the villagers go hunting. Uh, hunting. Oh. And they put the nets somewhere and then the animal is trapped there and then they kill it with spear. Oh. Uh, since they know that we adopt the uh, orphan babies, they bring it here. Oh, like this, yeah. So but most of the animals you see here are orphan. Orphan. Uh, nowadays, of course, the hunting has come down because of the farming and education. But those villages who are still, you know, untouched, they have to depend on the forest. Oh, oh. Yes. Rambo, yes. Ha, Rambo. Yes. We... Yes. 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 Rekha, yeah. Yeah. Rekha, yeah. Rekha, yeah. They like termite and honey. Oh. So, they're looking for the termite by smell there again. Uh, find out where is the okay. termite. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Grandson? Grandson, Arno. Oh. Arno, yeah. He is right from the childhood. Oh. I mean, there are four, three grandsons and one granddaughter. Okay. Uh, all the four are quite interested. Well, well they, all they are a member of the same family. Okay. Uh, without <laughs> an exception. Total, total without, without an exception. More than 100 animals. Unfortunately, they have to keep them in the cages because of the safety of the other people. Oh. Otherwise, they, they would have lived like this. Uh, if we had no other work, you know, there's no hospital, no school. So all these animals would, would live there peacefully. So oh. we started with monkeys, basically. Oh. Oh. Uh, we did not, know they, did not know that at that time that they also kill monkeys. It's a, it's a little bit of religious importance, you know, cow and monkeys in India. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so that is how, you know, how it started. So initially, 74, 
We used to roam in the forest because people didn't know much about us. So they were suspicious. So we used to go to the forest to the villages and understand their culture. And one day we witnessed, in fact, they had killed the rhesus monkey, red faced. They had tied their legs and we were carrying on a shoulder. And they came near to us, we saw a live baby suckling the dead mapa. So we really felt very sorry about that. We, we stopped them. Uh, we requested them, why don't you give that baby to us? And they said, our children are hungry in the village. What will they eat? So immediately idea stuck to my mind. I said, we'll give you rice. You give them rice and dal. So that was the first animal of animal orphanage. The hospital, hospital was going on. And then I was living in a small hut, we both. That is the turning point of the... Turning point, yeah. It was not planned. No. Not at all planned. Uh, actually, we requested a government and they gave us a land. Yeah. That, that was a, uh, the help they gave us. Oh. In Kuala, patient, 650 students and staff. So, it's a big family now. <laughs> Hello, Rani. Hello. Rambo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has been two and a half years since a leopard cub by name Shera became part of Amte family. Shera lost his mother and Amte looks after him as his own son. Amte walks with Shera daily for 20 minutes. Chal. Chal. You know, they, they more or less, they have living here as a member of our family. Huh. Uh, since they were often and uh, they didn't get training from the real mother. Oh. So naturally, they are afraid to go to the forest. They lost, there is the tragedy, you know, they lose the confidence. And if there is no mother, huh. you can't send them back. They will be immediately killed by the human beings or, or other animals. So, this is, a, this is a tragedy, in fact, once they orphans, you grow in a captivity, no. they become permanent member of your, oh. your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He naturally, he is cautious, you know. Yeah. The strangers I come. Oh. You are stranger for him, no? Yeah, oh. Hey, 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 The habitat for the orphaned wild animals has been set up near the house where Dr. Amte and family are staying. Peacocks dance in happiness as soon as they hear Amte's voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the best from the kitchen. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Male is aggressive. Oh. Yes. They, they, they are innocent. 
This is 42 years crocodile. 42 years. 40 years old. Oh. But how did you get this crocodile? Uh, while fishing in the river, one of the tribals uh, caught it in the net, and she was uh, almost 19 inches long. 1981 born. Don't disturb me. That is, this is the defense. Oh. Opening of mouth is a defense. Okay. What is that? that is a eagle, huh? What kind of an eagle, uh. sir? This is a serpent eagle. Oh. Again brought by the tribal. He has an orphan. Just uh, do, see that. This uh, is back now. More than six. This is called crested serpent eagle. Crested serpent eagle. This is a crest. Crested serpent eagle. Uh, this is a mortal wood owl. They are active in the night and they eat only rats. So a friend of a farmer. It's very soft. So that is a black buck. Krishna ground, black buck, yeah. Black buck. But this is a female. Wow. Chal. Chal. <laughs> See this interaction, you know, there, there is no training as such. Yeah. It's not like a ring master. <laughs> Just the love. This is Maharashtra, Samstana, Bragamana. This is under the mana. It's very much friendly. <laughs> they have very sharp claws, and, and even the teeth are so sharp, they can crush the badam. Hard cover, cut ke fir wo. Isko main ek asan shikha, shirsha asan. Which is probably difficult for Ramdev Baba to do that. <laughs> I will show you. Hmm. Yeah. Name? Yeah. Rekha. Rekha. Rekha is a common name. Yeah. Yeah. See, Sirisha Asana. <laughs> yeah. This is a very difficult asana. Eating against gravity, you see? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Honey, they like honey. Worthy. Yeah. Yeah, right, you're good. And this is how they suck. care for the wild animals, grandson Arnab is there with him always. Thus, even the fourth generation is also following the path of Baba Amte. He used to accompany me. Oh. Initially, I used to carry him my shoulder. First generation, second generation, third and now he is the fourth one. Fourth, fourth generation. <laughs> Brushing. Enjoying. Brushing the ears. Lok Biradri Prakalp Hospital, Hemalkasa. It is a hospital that treats the people of Hemalkasa for free. It is run by Dr. Prakash Amte, his wife Dr. Mandakini, and their children. In 1976, Dr. Amte established a school for the betterment of Adivasi community. The school that began with a mere 25 students now has around 1,000 pupils. Some of them are lawyers, engineers, lecturers. Many, many more have become teachers. 
taking uh, diploma in or bachelor of education degrees and the beauty of the education is that uh, about 70 to 80 percent of the educated students they have come back in the Garchuri district and serving their own community. Grandson also is in the seventh now, he's been, uh, in the seventh standard now. Yeah. <laughs> the exam is going on. <laughs> Awards that have been given to Amte family in honor of their selfless service to the society are on display at the auditorium located in this 50 acre campus. National and international awards such as Magsaze and Padmashri add sheen to the collection. Dr. Mandagini is reminiscing old sweet memories, albeit reaching the evenings of life. Her parents initially objected to her wish to marry the son of Baba Amte, who takes care of leprosy patients. At last, her parents permitted her to marry Prakash Amte as she sternly objected to marrying anyone else. Their life together is reaching half a century. For them, living as a father and mother of Hemal Kasa is a blessed experience. I am like a mom or a grandmother for all the children in the school and nearby. So if you ask about the dream, we feel that this inequality and when we see the life of a tribal, they don't have any basic, you know, food, shelter and most of the people, they don't have two square meals to eat. They should live like a human beings. That is the dream. <laughs>